right so for now we have implemented this feature bending the foot the leg in the runtime like this <coughs> we worked up to this point in the last episode but the problem is now when the character moves character keep the legs stick to the ground and also show some odd behaviors uh, like this so uh, we need to fix that so actually what I want to do is uh, only when the character is stationary I'm gonna enable this uh, leg bending system that we worked on before okay let's see how to do that let's open the script and so what I'm planning to do is uh, I'm gonna define something like a alpha value which defines the amount uh, that impact the uh, leg IK solving applied to the skeleton uh, based on the velocity of the character so this is the solve leg IK's function that we use to bend the character legs uh, now do we have a reference to access the character speed I don't think we have here but in another script let's see what are the scripts we have Alright, but we have a reference to the rigid body here. So using that we have actually uh, determined the speed of the character before to apply the, to set the uh, speed parameter of the animator so now you can we can use the same thing here so inside this solve leg guy case um, well if uh, if the speed is uh, larger than zero if I completely disable this IK system the result would be kind of not smooth so I can demonstrate that here if I do something like this, if speed, oh, where do we calculate the speed? Ah, oh, it's in here. Okay, so RGD dot s dot velocity dot magnitude is larger than zero well instead of zero let's try point um, point one because it would take some time to complete to go to zero oh less than point one only if i call this solid leg guy case only then we would have a result like this so let's see let me put the this cube under the character right here and then if my character moves you can see see now the leg is like that and if I start to move it 
snaps the leg it does the snapping like that see so that's bad it's not realistic so so that's why I can't use this boolean approach if fails approach so we need we have to do this with an alpha value so let me uh, so I have already calculated the speed variable here so instead of doing it here uh, I'll upgrade this speed variable uh, to be able to access from any other function as well so I'll define it here private float speed okay now it is calculated here and also I can use the same value here as well so where should I use it it. this is the solve guy case function and here I change for each leg I change its location and rotation here here yeah here and here basically that's all so using the speed value I need to create some alpha value to for this so let's define bend alpha <coughs> speed so how should we calculate this first uh, I need to get an idea about the speed Speed value I'm getting here. What's this? Okay, so instead of this angle, let me print the speed so I can have an idea about the speed we have here. It varies in between zero. And at one point it went to even for nine as well. No, maybe that's something else. Zero and two, but that's I'm sure of. And what's that? What's this value? Right. So I'll. So did I already define a float value for alpha? No. Okay. Uh, alpha equals. So, what is the best way to define this? Let me think. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, the this system is constantly trying to adjust this uh, lift percentage to correct the leg position the foot pos uh, position so I think we should limit the clamp value here using this um, instead of max value being 1 we should set it to a value derived, derived based on the speed so let's set speed divided by let's say oh no oh with uh, we need to do it like this one minus speed uh, and we need to clamp this value yeah math dot clamp
this is the value and the minimum value is 0 maximum value is 1 right uh, now so when the speed is 0 this will automatically be 1 okay so right so instead of this one i'll use ik alpha all right now let's see what happens Wait a minute, uh, instead of printing this speed, let's print the lift percentage. not working all uh, right I think I didn't I forgot to remove that if else part no, actually we forgot to call it let's call it here so leg I guess is working so let's see if snapping happens if I move quickly no I think it's smooth now why is it always printing zero here right so instead of printing this right here let's print the ik alpha okay when it is stationary it's 0.99 which is roughly one and when we move it goes back to zero right so that's exactly what i needed see now character is lifted only when the deer is stepping on that and also is stationary like that okay right so that's basically what i wanted to do and character is working pretty much all right it doesn't show the problems we had before like bending the backside in an awkward way or any other stuff it's working pretty normal way in a pretty normal way right 
so yeah I think we can stop this part right here so now we have a dynamically working dynamic uh, IK solving mechanism for this four legged deer character and in future episodes let's see what are the other ways that we can use to improve this system and as always uh, project files will be available through the patreon page and also this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support